Hi, in this video, we'll be creating various rounded objects. Since all of them are created using the same method, I'd like to explain the process step by step. This is a different approach from the mesh editing method I introduced in an earlier video, so I hope you find it helpful. These are the three objects we'll be using in this tutorial. Let's start with the sphere. To make the mesh deformation easier to see, I'll turn on the wireframe view. First, I'll go ahead and press validate without making any modifications. Switch to the gizmo tool. Enable symmetry and turn on X, Y, and Z axes. That should make things easier. Make sure the reference is set to world. To better visualize the shape changes, I'll move different pointers of the gizmo tool. The mesh will become distorted, but let's continue anyway. Even though the mesh gets badly distorted, we can still create a rounded square shape quite easily. Let's try from another angle as well. Next, let's try using numerical values to transform the shape. I've enabled snapping and set the snap value to 0 0.1. Using Snap allows you to align the height and width precisely. Now let's refine the mesh. First, we'll use voxel remeshing. Since there's still some surface roughness, it might be a good idea to use the Smooth tool to smooth it out. Next, let's try using the Quad Remesher to clean up the mesh. Switch to Quad Remesher. The current symmetry settings are fine as they are. Make sure symmetry is enabled. I'll set the value slightly higher. Remesh. There are still some bumps, but the mesh has become cleaner than with voxel remeshing. Use the smooth tool to smooth the surface. Switch to the smooth tool.
Next, let's try using a cylinder. This time, I'll try editing the topology before deforming the shape instead. Tap on constant density and unlink it. The higher the X value, the smoother the corners will be. Y and Z can be set freely. Even lower values won't ruin the shape. This is a reference value. Validate. You might need to adjust the mesh, but it's the same shape I introduced earlier. This method might be even simpler. If you adjust the topology beforehand, the edges become much smoother. Lastly, let's try using a torus. Please adjust the mesh as needed. Mesh adjustment is needed, but using symmetry makes this shape very easy to create. So definitely give it a try.